All right guys, so now we're taking a look at the warp section in Serum. So the warp section is going to take the basic waveforms we looked at earlier in the oscillator section and start changing and manipulating their shapes further. So first up, if we take a basic saw and add the sync from the drop down menu here, we can see we've got sync, no window, sync, window one and a half and sync, window full. So in its basic use, if we just increase to a few saws we get this analog sound. Now if we add an LFO to this, we start getting the movement. So I'll add an LFO. So I'm just decreasing the range of frequencies it's affecting with the small wheel knob here and just going backwards and forwards with that. So if I add a bit of legato using the porter wheel here, we get this quite raw lead sound. We could then have two saws, one with a sync to it and run them through a filter here. So we've got A and B going through the filter. So I've got one with a sync on it there and one just normal. I'll just increase the pitch of this up to plus one. Just increase the octave here up to plus one. So going back to one oscillator, we could get some movement going by using an LFO sign shape to control the sync knob. So I'm just sending that to the sync knob there. The next one is the sync window one and a half, which is basically adding this little fade at the ends to the waveform. And this will give us a cleaner sound. Then moving on, we've got the Ben Plus, which really crushes down the waveform. That gives us a thinner sound. The more we go from left to right, the more we go back, we've got a fatter sound. So if we were to take one of the digital waveforms, say the Crush Wub one, and put it on Ben Plus. So we're really crushing that sound to the LFO. And we can control the rate there. So moving down the menu, you've got the bend minus. And you guessed it, it does the opposite thing by pushing the waveform out, which gives us a more fat, full bodied sound. So if I was to add another one of those wave shapes, exactly the same, and then fine tune the second one a bit, we get this sound. So we then have the bend plus and minus, which also explodes the waveform. Another good one there for adding the movement to. So moving on, we have this mirror sync setting here, which basically chops your waveform in half, then reflects it. So this is another really good one for adding movement to. Stick an LFO on that. So let's use the mirror mode, attach our LFO to it and create a bass sound using this digital waveform distortion wire tech. So I've got two of the same waveforms there, oscillator A and B. So moving on, we have the remap one here. So this remap one actually enables us to make changes to the wave shape here. And if we go into that, we can use side chain shapes, etc. So if I go from left to right on the remap, we'll get more of the edit affecting the wave shape. So next up, we have the very popular sync which is the fm which stands for frequency modulation so with the frequency modulation set in on the sync i've got two sine waves here and i've got one on b and as i increase the sync on a b will affect a so we'll hear the influence of b on a so as we can see there as i'm increasing the sync the influence from the square wave is affecting the sine wave. We can also get some bell sounds with FM sync. If we go back to two straight sine waves with no modulation and we take the sustain down as we've done there, play with the filter and the release, then 
add another octave to oscillator B. So that's the warp section in a nutshell guys. Have a play with the different settings alone and eventually you can start merging the sync warp with an LFO and then add effects.